schedule an uber since yesterday so whenever i have to like go to the airport like super early what i do is schedule an uber because i don't want like when the time gets here for me to wait forever and also after what happened in merida when we were leaving on 11 o'clock we couldn't find an uber because they had like a curfew and everything so but mexico city is different um you know i should be fine but that's my uber actually and actually start going down to put my stuff on the eye we'll be traveling in a white dress like usual and also i'm on my period list, but it's the last day so since it's the last day i'm thinking i should be fine hopefully so i'm gonna take those pills this is the pills that helps me around that time of the month um it's the Mayo D Chiro and Nosetol so I'm gonna take four of it and then I'm gonna leave it because like I said it's the last day I won't need it anymore and this is what I am taking this black suitcase hat box I've only taken the hot box the hot box just in case if I shop so I can transfer some of the stuff in here. And then of course carry on my um, YSL bag. And then this is a jacket that I'm going to be wearing. Which I'm like, mm. I'm like, do I even need to bring this jacket? I don't think I do. But I just because I feel like I may go shopping and find something. But then again, I'm not there for a long time. Actually, I gotta go. And then... I'm wearing my socks and I'm gonna wear my boots obviously because this trip is in partnership with Sarah. Okay guys, made it to Chicago. I've never been. I can't believe I've never been. So I do have a couple of hours before my next flight. Which is around 4.20. So now I am having a burger and this burger is really really good. I'm at Hub 51. Um, I don't know my gate yet, so we're gonna figure that out later. But right now, food is what's most important. Let me actually show you what I'm eating. And this is the burger. I added fried egg. You can also add bacon if you want to. But the bacon in Mexico City is so good, I wouldn't even bother doing it here. Yeah. But it's really good. I was done eating my burger. Too bad I could not finish it. It was so delish, but I made good effort. I did finish more than half, well, a half and like a bite. So that was a success. Now I am sitting trying to charge this laptop while I do some work. I'm answering some emails for some campaigns and stuff like that. When I tell you I'm sleepy, I'm sleepy. I could fall asleep right now. So I have two more hours or something. My flight is at, I think I told you guys already, 4.20 and it's 2.19. So, yeah, technically two hours or really like one hour and a half because boarding, I don't know, you can't really, I don't know, I don't count boarding. I was a little bit nervous to be kind of honest for obvious reason because this trip has been a little bit bumpy. So, like, I wasn't sure, like, not a lot of people know I'm even kind of, like, coming here in a way. I feel like until I make it there, like, successfully, like, I can't say much because, <laughs> you know. But my forehead looks like a good fry and egg, which is okay because I've had my makeup on since, like, 2 a.m. I woke up at, like, 2, well, I didn't wake up because I couldn't go to bed at all. I did not sleep, not even for five minutes I couldn't sleep. I slept on the plane though. I did take like a 30 minute nap and that helped quite a bit. It's so funny how like just 30 minutes like when you like so sleep deprived can make such a big difference. It could just feel like you've slept like an entire night when it was just like 30 minutes. 
So, but this right now is going to be overnight. I get there in the morning at like 8.30 a.m. But I'm sure with like the logistics, getting there, like paperwork and all that nonsense, I may have to take like a test when I get there and stuff like that. So there's that. And right now it's 9.21. So technically my flight is living here at almost midnight their time. So by the time I get there, it's like eight o'clock. So it's like, it was like an eight hour. It's like my eight hour flight. I can't remember the last time I've done like an eight hour flight. But when I do them, I always have to do them overnight. Because I think overnight is the best. Because you just like sleep, you know. You know, just like a red eye. You just sleep and then you wake up the next day and then you're in a new city. Like that's typically the best. But to be quite honest, I'm just so not used to travel so for, um so long anymore. Like now, five hours is at my tops. I'm like, I can barely. I'm like, no thanks. Now I want every flight that I'm on to just be like under two hours. That's why <laughs> I don't know. I don't even care to travel for. I just want to like travel within like go and like you know see things. But I'm gonna go now because. I'm ready to fall asleep. I'm ready for this fight to board already. So I can just like go straight to bed. Good morning guys. I made it finally after how many hours now of traveling. Finally made it. I think I left the house at like 2 a.m yesterday and here we are it's 902 here in Vienna I just got here and I'm just waiting for my baggage and I know my makeup just look crazy right now oh my goodness I need a shower like everything is like completely gone but this is my travel situation over here yeah Hi guys I am in Vienna <laughs> Um, we are here and I can't wait to get to the hotel. It is cold. I'm not used to this kind of cold anymore <laughs> because if you know, <laughs> your people, uh, um, you know, see it at the Mexico, so not used to this kind of things. <laughs> but here we are. You call it the Ring Boulevard. Uh -huh. It's a street which is around 6.5 kilometer long. Mm -hmm. And um, it's also important to know for you that um, 150 or many, many years ago, mm -hmm. we had city walls. Vienna was surrounded by city walls. Really? Yes, you can see this very old... Uh, was it to keep it safe and exactly, everything? Exactly, yes, uh, when we had our different battles, for example, uh, against the Ottoman Empire, uh -huh. 1529, 1683, they really saved Vienna, otherwise we wouldn't, if you wouldn't have the walls anymore, mm -hmm. so we were, we were occupied by Ottomans. Wow. And then the Emperor Franz Joseph, mm -hmm. the Franz Joseph. Of, uh, Sisi, Sisi? Mm -hmm. was the one who said, okay, we don't need these walls anymore, guys, put it down. Let's make um, the city bigger. We need more infrastructure. Mm -hmm. And then he built this beautiful street and he built a lot of great buildings along the Ring Street. For example, here on the left side, that's the Mac Museum of um, Mac Fine Art. Museum, okay, of Fine yes, Art. Yeah. Um, you ever heard of the famous painter Klimt? Mm -hmm. He was a student here. Oh, cool. And the Opera House is also located on the ring, which is next, really next door to your hotel. Mm -hmm. The Parliament is there, the Museum of Natural History, the Museum of Fine Art, the City Hall, the National Theatre, and the Hofburg. Hof As Park. I said before, the royal family had a summer palace. Mm -hmm. The guys also had a winter palace. Oh. The winter palace is in the city, which is maybe walking distance 10 minutes from your hotel. From hotel, okay. Yeah. Oh, I'll take a walk there. made it to the hotel i'm staying at the grand hotel how do you say it rain or grand hotel yes. grand. all right guys so i have to go do a pcr test um because they don't in vienna they don't accept an antigen test like a rapid one um for me to check in at the hotel so that's a little tip for you 
um, but you don't have to wear mask outside on the inside that's a really if you want to which is good because I'm so tired of this mask thing thing is there's a shop in my hotel like it's right next to it it's perfect because I don't really have any clothes and I'm seeing coats that I want and stuff like that but it's beautiful I mean like it's a I would say a typical European town <laughs> so I don't think I could look here um, I don't think it's interesting enough <laughs> but then again I just got here so what can I really say but I, I don't know you know like when you go somewhere you can already feel it so that's how I'm feeling and I'm feeling cold <laughs> like I said I'm not used to this kind of cold anymore like <laughs> This is new. It was really good at giving me some really, really great tips. And I'm sorry, I didn't even catch his name. That was terrible of me. But we have a special entrance to the mall from my hotel. As you can see here, it's gorgeous. Such a beautiful city. Oh, they have Mozart concert. It's so funny. Like, German is one of the most difficult languages. But then again, like, if I see the writing, I understand some of it. Which is pretty cool also it's either you show your v card or you show like a pcr test so that's where we are that was our home the good thing is we have those in mexico you guys don't have those in the u.s so uh, uh, uh. so beautiful and everyone is so stylish i love it that is one thing i love about europe though everyone just dress so nicely which is something well most people do which is something you don't really see in the US unless you're like in the major cities like New York City but even in New York City sometimes you're just like hey, am I even in New York City? Alright guys, this is my room oh my goodness, it's so cute, I love it I've always wanted to like to stay in one of those kind of like old little fashion room I love it and of course the bathroom, all the gold and everything this looks amazing look at this phone bling bling wow gold i mean i don't know if it's real gold but like i mean it's not real gold but i mean damn they have a balance are they, are they you guys trying to say i'm fat like uh uh this is so cute yeah but sarah flick was just like this is how you travel and i'm like yeah that's how i travel i look cute when i travel yeah i always travel in white and this is the closet over here i've got the safe and everything but yeah it's beautiful i love this bedside table it's so cute i really really love this bed now i actually want a bed like that this is the kind of bed that i want well i do love the bed that i have i mean my headboard but mm, it's cute so cute i love this little lamp um, things of course gifts from lena shack and sarah is waiting for me downstairs and omg this is so cute all right guys i don't know if i can show you this but this is like a little sneak peek preview concept and i've got a gift omg the house shoe okay i need this i'm gonna keep this on i'm just gonna change my dress to another white dress obviously because you guys know i have changed not really i just changed into another zimmerman dress and of course the most important shoes of course the most fashionable <laughs> Yeah. My favorite shoe designer ever. Would you like to say hi to the peeps? Hi peeps! <laughs> I'm so excited to be with Rose. She's the coolest person ever. Oh my God. <laughs>
got a tomato soup, right? Some potato wedges, that looks so good. And so I've got the pumpkin soup. Prosciutto, go for it. Prosciutto time. This looks heavy. It's good. Mm -hmm. I guess that was look one. Zimmerman, I just kept on the same boots. Uh, my makeup has been on since the beginning of time. And I was supposed to change and get back out, but then again, I feel like I'm, I really need like a shower. Like my hair is such a mess. So I have to figure something out. And I don't have that much time. So let's see if we can do everything in 30 minutes. Maybe a little bit too much, Maggie. Yeah. It's closed. Okay. It's closed. I guess look at the grounds. Oh, isn't the most beautiful thing you've ever seen? Welcome back to my messy bathroom and do not make the mistake that I made today I was supposed to have you guys say hi to Sarah Flint and I did not do that earlier and then now it's just like you know she lives tomorrow morning like early at like 3 a.m. and so I got a chance to decide that which is why, you know, when you have to do something, just do it right in the moment. Do not wait for later because I meant to do it like earlier today when we we're out and I never did that. And we spent the, literally the entire day. So I'm here in Vienna with Sarah Flint. So amazing, um, you know, that they have me here in Vienna because we're working on a really, really cool, exciting project, which I'm very, very excited for. I hope you guys are excited so to see what we come up with. You know, I'm gonna be designing like a shoe. Hopefully you guys are like excited for it. I cannot wait. You guys know Sarah Flint is my favorite shoe designer. Like, I absolutely love the brand. I tell you guys about it all the time. Like, it is the one brand that I can never see myself get rid of her shoes because her shoes are just like so me. They're just, just like me. For her to bring me here, well, the brand would bring me here and it's just been one de four. Look at this cute bed. I think I did give you guys a tour before, which I should have done for Instagram because you know, once you sleep in the bed, it's never the same anymore. Because I'm actually quite sad that you guys did not, uh, that did not introduce you to Sarah Flint. Like, I'm very disappointed in myself, honestly. Like, I, I didn't even, I don't think I even did like a story. I mean, I just saw some stories with her, but I don't think I did like a story saying, hi guys, I'm here in Vienna with Sarah Flint, blah, blah, and all that stuff. I'm disappointed excited to get to bed though i'm not gonna lie i haven't slept in the bed in like two days now um plus i get a gift from lena Sh lena shock and then there's a mall connected to this whole there's a mall i could see I actually i could see the grocery i don't know if you could see like the grocery uh, store down here. And guys, Vienna has been on my list of places. Again, from watching Sissi L'Imperatrice, I've always wanted to come here. Good morning, guys. 
welcome to my crib <laughs> this is my room at the hotel grand hotel and master switch master switch master switch okay there we are so you should know one before i'll do like an empty room tour you know like when i'm all packed and stuff i have really good light because the light woke me up this morning oh my goodness i could not wake up guys like it took everything out of me and it's 11 o'clock which is late it's not the it was not the plan but then again i needed this rest so badly okay i finally made the announcement on my instagram i'm not even sure if i was even clear about it but seraphine and i will be designing something together which is going to come fall winter 22 but you never know things are gonna happen before that but you know like how brain works they work with the you know for these things like a year in advance so we are here in vienna to gather inspiration for whatever we'll be creating together which is fantastic you know to be here with sarah flint which is my favorite shoe brand and a favorite shoe designer so sorry guys i did not introduce her to you yesterday i thought i had more time but i didn't i'm very very sad about that but yeah it's just um super super exciting that we'll be working on that together it's been so fun being here um so sarah left this morning because she's headed to italy to kind of like work on <clears throat> You know the collections and everything for, for <clears throat> excuse me for like spring i have one more day in vienna which is today um <clears throat> and it's three of us like jenny tupoletti and grace artwood but they came over the weekend to vienna um we just you know couldn't come together and and stuff like that you know due to schedule craziness so <clears throat> which is fine so that means i got to get one-on-one -on -one time with sarah which was a fantastic and um and yeah they left yesterday when you know i arrived and um yeah so i have one more day here in vienna by myself which is fantastic i love being in the city by myself just kind of like exploring because it's just like make me talk to everyone i love that especially since typically i when i used to be shy traveling used to be my favorite thing because that's when i would actually talk to people i don't know for some reason when i traveled i just didn't care who i spoke with if i made a fool of myself okay guys i am at the soccer hotel for Greki because um, Sarah and the girls were here I believe on Sunday and this is the place was really really good and also I want to try the sour cake also so I can't wait for that the hotel is really really beautiful so I don't know yet what I'm gonna have I'm definitely want like a hot chocolate and also some coffee because I need to wake up today so let's go ahead and do that there's something in the air It's raining, it's about 12.44 and look, the sun was just out literally like five minutes ago and then I just looked down and I was just like, why is it raining all of a sudden? I was gonna go to Chanel, I'm still gonna go, I'm gonna, I wanna go to H&M first, I wanna get some stuff at H&M and then I wanna do some shopping, I may actually leave some of the stuff that I bought, like if anything I'll leave like some beauty products but I have space though because I do have a carry on and I'm allowed 70 pounds for both luggage, I can also put stuff in my hot box. I'm going to Chanel, I don't know, it could be, I want like a, like a wallet, like the little wallet that I have, I want it like in the 10 color because 10 is the color that I buy the most and also sometimes black like if you're in the back of a cab you know if you're carrying your wallet you could if you put it down if your seat is black you could literally forget it there so we just want to those on because i've seen so many people just like lose their wallet like that um which is one of the reasons it doesn't happen to me though because i'm like i'm anal about things like i check things like at least 10 times it's crazy 
I matched the decor unintentionally. I didn't even realize it was all red. I don't know. I've just been into like a red mood here. Just like being fancy. Because I feel like it's Vienna. You know, it's all about luxury. I don't know. To me, that's what it looks like, like to me. But, alright. Let's go shopping. Alright guys. Here is my jacket that I'm trying on I really really love this the thing is it's a little bit longer than I was expecting maybe something over here but I love it I was in the fitting room I just tried on these jeans because I need like a darker pair I'm getting those two I'm not sure yet about the denim although I feel like I should get it because this is a slim one I don't think I have kind of like a skinny leg like this it's not too skinny it's kind of like straightish but it's a slim fit like slim high waist high waist is the way to go for me uh, this is a size 36 the pins that i really want they don't have it in my size so i'm gonna check another h&m hopefully they have it let's go hello guys so i am now in guabon shopping street i'm going to chanel which i shouldn't be doing because <laughs> i just got the worst news actually so there was a reason why my Chase card has been declined and it's not my fault so I guess Chase decided to review my information they decided that I don't know maybe the money doesn't belong to me so they decided they're gonna close my account without my knowledge like it's so crazy to me how these institutions can just decide like they can hold your money and it's just like what if that was the only card that i had which is why you should never have your egg in one basket like it doesn't matter if you have 500 dollars have two accounts 250 in one 250 in another one so yeah and that's where i have the bulk of my money which is crazy and also it's kind of like the only debit card that i have um and i can't access the money because i decided that they review my account which i can't even give me information as to why they decide to close my account that um yeah like without my knowledge i decide they're just gonna close it and it is what it is so now it's either i fly back to the u.s go to a branch to take my money out or they're gonna send me a cashier's check i don't trust cashiers not that i don't trust it i don't trust the you know they're gonna send me the money like if they send it they can just be like oh yeah whatever it got lost so now i have i am booked for the next for the rest of the month now and i have to get on the flight home to deal with this nonsense and we've got this beautiful church over here it reminds me of duomo it has kind of like the same architecture um the same spiral thingies the duomo is actually you know bigger obviously but yeah so this is where we are gonna go into zara I have already you know did some damage at h&m let's go in okay guys i am at yet another h&m i'm looking for these pants they don't have them on a size and they're like the perfect pants they're like sold out everywhere i've been thus far i'm also looking to see if they have the the trench coat i don't see the trench coat but i just got these little cola kind of like leggings because i want to do like a riding boot outfit with the blazer and this would be like a cute little thing to have with the riding boot you know kind of look so hopefully i actually get to go riding but yeah the store is super fancy i love the decor in here i also found this shirt that i ordered but um, i hope it gets delivered tomorrow so my cousin can bring it for me but we'll find out these are the stairs to go up it's so nice all right guys i am still here it's gotten darker so i didn't go do anything that i was supposed to be doing because i'm just shopping honestly because i mean keep saying castle after castles <laughs> i'm good on that but i do want to buy like a typical tote bag that says cc in there so 
and it is cold i'm not cold i'm not used to cold like this guys guys i'm only wearing my mask outside because it's cold it actually helps but i did go into chanel i did buy something which i shouldn't have but um i wanted some not plain some pearl chanel earrings that i could wear every day and i think i found the perfect ones i will do an unboxing for you guys now i'm unboxing dior and as soon as i bought the chanel then i remember the dior earrings were actually the ones that i wanted with the pearl hey things guys, i am in at the mall i think that's how you say it it's beautiful inside so we're gonna see what this place is about i am starving because i thought i was going to eat breakfast this morning but it really wasn't it was just like chocolate it was sweet um which was delish by the way but now i am having the beef goulash i had the beef goulash last night it was so delicious i cannot wait to have it again um i'm having it again and i don't know if i'm gonna tonight i think i'm gonna stay in and have like um food at the hotel i'm just gonna like do room service just get my food in and everything like that and then tomorrow I'm just gonna skip breakfast because I have the famous piano coffee and stuff like that. Alright, guys, so it's not 6 o'clock yet, 5 45, but the bells are going. I think I walk all the way straight over there to get back to the hotel. I'm gonna see if someone can take a picture of me sitting in front of the fountain. Let's see if we can find someone. Okay guys, so the weirdest thing just happened. I mean, that happens to me all the time on the Upper East Side. Cause people, cause people think I'm like Candace Owens or something. I don't really see the resemblance. I don't know, maybe it's the low forehead. I don't know what it is. But this guy was just like, can I take a picture? with you and then i thought he was just like oh you're beautiful let me take a picture of you i didn't realize until after he took the picture and then he was like i'm a big fan and i'm just like um have a great day nice to meet you <laughs> so now i feel bad because he doesn't know that you know that was a bootleg whoever that actress is that he took a picture like he think he took a picture of all right guys i am in my hotel room i'm actually gonna try to go out again to actually enjoy the city i was gonna kind of like google the nightlife to see maybe where i should go um for night time and then i'm gonna have i'm gonna actually ask the concierge downstairs when the restaurant closed to see Ugh. I'm so mad the shops are closed and by the time they open tomorrow i'll be on a plane i don't even think i'll be able to shop at the airport because maybe at the frankfurt airport maybe at in germany i've never been to germany so that's going to be my first time i wish i could get a stamp but they won't give me a stamp because i'm not in the city for that long all right guys i am going back outside because i really want to see what's up i did see a little bit of it last night but you know i want to see for myself what it's about all right guys we are out at night time in vienna i am in that busy street that i was earlier is this still open shopping i don't know i think it might be but i guess it's like this is the main street that everyone walk on so nice you know coming from the little uh the streets and everything i'm so happy that i got to come here because this is this may be my last trip to europe and we for a really 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 long time we have the bubble man out here the kids are having fun chasing the bugs
it's almost three o'clock here i haven't been i haven't begun to bed because i've just kind of like been so stressed about this whole situation with my bank that's just really stress i don't like to let things stress me but this is huge like especially when you're away like if i was in mexico like i had the time i wouldn't you know even bother to be quite honest but like i am in vienna on business and i'm so happy i didn't call them yesterday because i would have been fuming and i would have been so much more upset and then after the day that i had yesterday you know with like traveling for so long and getting here like i'm just so happy that i actually like you know when my card got declined yesterday or um yeah because monday was the last time that i used my card to pay for my covid test at the airport in mexico it was like four o'clock in the morning um so i don't know what could chase possibly saw or whatever uh, when i specifically call them before i'm just gonna tell them hey i'm gonna be you know living in mexico for a while and everything like that i just want to make sure i let you guys know before you know so you don't decline my transactions stuff like that and they're like no you don't even have to call us you know you can travel everywhere you want to you can use your card you know if anything we'll just decline it and we'll just t send you a text which is usually what happened they send me a text and then i say yes and then you know they approve it like this is the same thing when i went to buy my chanel shoes um you know i got the coin and then i got the text and then i said yes and then boom let's drop it again it worked i don't know if it's because i did wire transfer to pay for rent so i don't know if that's what set it off I, I like i don't know what happened but i just find it like crazy how a bank can just decide that they're gonna shut down your account without you know calling you and letting you know it's just like this is my money like how the hell are you gonna freeze my account and just tell me i can't use my money like what guys i'm probably rambling because i am tired i am sleepy should have gone to bed earlier i haven't packed yet my room is still a mess so i have to figure out my packing situation now i'm gonna pack good thing is i always think packing takes like so little time but turns out it takes quite a bit of time but this packing shouldn't be so long but the thing is as much as i want to pack now i can't pack now i have to kind of like um take a shower first because i have to kind of like pack my beauty stuff i'm gonna leave the makeup the makeup i can pack easy and just put in the in the bag that's going to be the easy part but everything else should be easy i think i already know what i'm wearing i am wearing my white dress from start with my boots with the red coat although it's probably gonna like bleed into the dress a little bit but i don't care and then we need head scarf for tonight and um, and stuff like that and then all the new stuff that i bought some of the stuff can actually go in my suitcase like especially the mango stuff i don't think i get money for that i don't i don't get money back for that because it did not my little peasant shirt when i'm very very excited for so i'm gonna do packing i'm actually gonna pack on the floor i'm gonna get um this suitcase on the floor because it's kind of like hard to pack it over here um and then yeah i'm gonna put the chocolate and stuff in there because i don't want that to come in my carry-on nobody needs to know anything about that the only thing i'm putting in my carry-on or kind of like the beauty stuff you know which i don't know sometimes i think you have to show them guys right, so and i'll tell you i am annoyed <laughs> like you have no idea okay i'm gonna drink this bottle of water because it's complement to this room and then i don't need this negative covid test anymore because it no longer works it doesn't matter they on here you they don't um you can't do the other mask they only require the fp2 mask okay guys i didn't even realize they had slippers on here because i always bring my little chum class because most of the hotel don't have slippers and then i just cannot be bothered but I mean, I should have known where I was coming. They even have a sewing kit, which I'm about to take with me because I've been looking for needles um, to sew some, like, buttons that I have loose. Like, this, they have everything, and I know. We are one of those people who take these little things. 
I typically don't. Um, most of the time, I don't even use their soap or do anything because most of the hotel that I've stayed in, like, trash. And not all of them, but some of them are just like, eh. It's nothing really for me to take. But this is, like, stuff that I've been needing. Like, every time I go to Walmart to buy that stuff, I forget. So, this is actually perfect. So, this is going to go in my bag this is gonna stay here because i did borrow that plug from them don't need that and then i'm gonna shower first i'm putting like everything together and kind of like rolling them and then i'm gonna shower and then when i get back out of the shower then i can easily just like you know pack everything oh my god it's already three o'clock there's no i mean i don't think i even need to go to bed to be quite honest because I'm gonna have to wake up at like five o'clock. Good morning, guys. It is 6.30. Oof, much later than I was expecting to wake up, to be quite honest. I thought I was gonna be a champ, but because I had waited too long to fall asleep, and here we are. This is what we have to deal with. Is it all the way cleaned up? And again, I forgot my luggage. It's just. Uh, broken so this is what we'll have to deal with like a scented luggage i'm about to pop on i just write my note saying thank you to whoever has to clean this space putting boots on and i am unplugging this i'm gonna put it in this corner I should probably put it outside and over here we've got I love what I sell bag and then all right guys I'm at the airport I am at Bon Age over here getting my eyes taken care of as you can see you know I've got very expensive bags under my eyes I did not sleep last night, so let's try to fix it. I'm here with Alberta, right? Exactly. Yeah. Say hi, Alberta. Hi. <laughs> let's go. All right, let's get started. Let's do it. few hours ago and guess who's already getting dressed to go out that is moi at dinner new friends i feel like i should wear these yeah these are cute i should probably wear yeah these are my chanel ones so i'm wearing zimmerman dress chanel mules and this sort of green bag from paris ring i do have a code for you guys if you are interested that just making sure i have z keys and my wallet of course 
which is probably useless because <laughs> you guys know. Um, I don't think I need a jacket because it is hot up in this bitch. Running late, but it works out in my favor because the place it's actually five minutes away from me. I could actually walk. Oh, you know what I should call? I should probably call a beat, but I have to go brush this hair because let's see how long my Uber is going to take. All right, guys, dinner time. Sandra, Jordan, Beanie over here. some of the best food I've had since I've been here and the price point was really really good like everything was just like top-notch I would say like I will definitely be taking my cousin here not tomorrow tomorrow it's party time we're gonna go on that trip in Polanco um, to have a really nice dinner and then party so I'm very excited for that